Alright dudes, it's day 18 of Vita, and today, we're gonna talk about coffee! That's so science! Takes on Vita. Caffeine is the most commonly used psychoactive drug in the world. In the US alone, up to 80% of adults consume it in one form or another. My form of choice? Coffee. The story of coffee begins once upon a time in Ethiopia. A farmer called Kaldi stumbled upon his goats acting a little bizarre. They were really hyper and would not sleep at night. The goats had stumbled across this plant, eating these berries. Yes, berries. Back at the monastery, Kaldi told all of his monk friends about this weird berry. Soon they started making a drink out of the berries, and thus the first form of coffee was created. So let's go back to that berry. Crack open these guys, and inside there's a little green bean. This is the seed of the plant. If you roast this seed at very high temperatures, pop, you have a coffee bean. So how does coffee affect the brain? The brain has a lot of chemicals called neurotransmitters. One transmitter called adazine, let me start that over. Your brain has lots of receptors for lots of chemicals. These are called neurotransmitters. Coffee affects one neurotransmitter called adenosine. Adenosine is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Its main job is to help people sleep. Normally, adenosine binds with its receptor and slows down brain activity, and thus, you get sleepy. Once you have caffeine, rather than adenosine binding to its receptor, Caffeine comes in and binds to it instead. Ergo, less sleepiness. When there's less adenosine, other neurotransmitters increase. Dopamine and glutamate. Dopamine affects the reward system of the brain. This is one reason people think you can get addicted to coffee. I don't think that's a problem. The other neurotransmitter, glutamate, helps with communication, memory, and learning. So with all this extra brain activity going on, the pituitary gland in your body goes, there must be something exciting happening! Let me send in adrenaline! So with increased adrenaline, some people get anxious, irritable, and jittery. Coffee is linked to loads of health benefits. Coffee can decrease your risk of certain cancers like breast and oral cancer, diabetes, liver disease, and depression. I sound like a coffee salesman. But wait, there's more. My favorite thing coffee does? One study suggests that drinking coffee can increase a person's ability to recognize positive words. In summary, coffee can make you feel awake, alert, and good. There are some downsides, however. The adrenaline rush from drinking coffee can increase irritability, anxious, and that jitteriness. Not to mention the lack of sleep if you get addicted to coffee. Coffee can stay in your body for up to six hours. So if you wanna to go to bed by, let's say nine, who wants to go to bed by nine? You should stop drinking coffee by three. Also, a new study suggests that drinking too much coffee, more than four cups a day, can increase the risk of death. The study showed an increased risk of death of up to 56% in young men. Everything in moderation, dudes. Please hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more That's So Science. If you have any questions or comments, please like and comment below. That would be super duper. Front of my shirt has Darwin on it. And then the back, there's grandeur in this view of life.